Talia, what's the relationship between free will and decision making, and how has some of your research uh, uh, been able to clarify this distinction? Okay, I actually think there is a distinction between free will and decision making. Um, the brain is all about decision making. Everything <laughs> the brain does can be characterized as a decision, you know, whether we um, we have too much salt intake and so we need more water, or yeah. everything's a decision. And um, deliberation can unfold quite naturally without maybe a sense of agency or, or free will. So I think um, we have this uh, subjective experience of free will that feels like we're making decisions. But actually the brain makes decisions all the time, most of which we're completely unconscious of. So it's not clear to me that that feeling of free will is necessary for the decision-making process. So we know there's lots of decisions in the brain in terms of uh, all the autonomic nervous system and right. digestion and heart rate, all breathing, everything is, it's, it, in a sense, is a decision. Right. We use decision in a uh, colloquial sense to mean where I'm deliberating about it. That's so you right. want to now tease those two apart. Well, right, and, the, uh, and is there something special about that latter case of conscious right. decision making where I'm feeling like I'm weighing things and is that feeling of being a conscious uh, judge in in that process important? Okay, and so oh, where and do you so, go from it? Um, well, we, we have um, some data to suggest that that feeling of being a conscious decider is not actually critical for making decisions, that we can make volitional, intentional decisions without a sense of being the one doing the deciding, a conscious sort of sense of free will. So in other words, if I decide to, uh, uh, to um, eat um, Italian food tonight, uh, that is no, although I think it's very different, it's no different than my body determining that I need more fluids and therefore I'm thirsty. Right. Possibly. We don't know, but that's, you know, it's, it's plausible that they're, that's exactly the same thing. But in, in, in the case of my choosing a restaurant, uh, I have the feeling that that's a huge difference, right? Right. So, so why right. do I have that if it doesn't um, matter? Well, that's, I mean, that is the million dollar question. We don't know. We don't know. Why would you have Gotta this feeling? Got to be a feeling? reason, right? Um, Things don't happen without <laughs> reasons. There may be a reason and there may not be a reason. Um, it's, it's possible that it's what people call an epiphenomenon, that it just sort of is, is, is part of the process, but it isn't actually the causal piece to it. Right, and, and that's a very important distinction, but even epiphenomena have a reason why they're an epiphenomena. They may not be mm. causative, that's right. that's but there right. is a reason for yeah, it. Yeah, and they're, so, part so, of, they're part of the process. Right, and so right. We, we have to distinguish. We know it occurs. We know we have that feeling. Yes. You, your work seems to show that uh, that feeling is not part of the causation of what makes it right. happen. Right, right. But there still it's must still be there. a reason. It's still there, right? Uh, where it's not there for the the salt in my blood or the my heart rate and right. other things. So there's a reason yeah. for it, but yeah. it's not causative. That's right. That's right. So it may just be that with a certain level of brain level organization. So if you've got um, that uh, with enough uh, attention on a problem, that there's enough processing that happens, right? Enough neural activity and large scale happens that part of that level of organization is conscious, that that's, consciousness is just part of the mix. Um, and that is different from the salt intake question. Be, so it's just a level of organization. Of the, of because of the complexity involved, exactly. consciousness emerges just uh, because that's, that's, that's the way the structure of the universe is, but it really doesn't that's matter. Right. That's right. If it's an epiphenomenon, it's If it's an there. epiphenomenon, it's, it's the same, if I, pull up multiple windows on my computer and my computer starts to generate heat. Heat's part of the fact that I'm doing multiple things at once, right? Enough activity generates heat. Heat's part of the process. It's not the causal part. Mm -hmm. That's the epiphenomenon argument. Do you believe consciousness and decision making is, is that uh, an, an analogy to, to heat on a computer? I don't know. It's plausible. It's, it's a plausible um, it's plausible that it's just part of that when you get that level of brain activity, that consciousness is in the mix, but it's not uh, causal of decision making. But we don't know. I mean, that's just one possibility.